In the words of that great philosopher, Damon Albarn, confidence is a preference for the habitual voyeur of what is known as park life. Now, I'm sure I speak for all of us when I say that I have absolutely no idea what any of this nonsense means. If I had to sum it up in a pithy one-liner, confidence is your ability to say to yourself, I can do this, and this applies to cycling confidence. Cyclists of all abilities struggle with confidence now and then. If you're just getting on a bike for the first time, it might be riding in traffic that makes you nervous. Or if you've been riding for a while, it might be the thought of completing your first century. Believe me, no one is immune. Even the pros will get nervous before a big race. The thing about confidence is that it doesn't just come out of thin air. You have to have something solid to base it on. If you think about the things you are confident about, it's probably because they're tasks that you've done very successfully many times in the past. But if you cast your mind back to the day that you first had to do it, you were probably a little apprehensive. So the big question is, how do you build up your cycling confidence, particularly if you're a new rider? I think the first thing you need to do is ask yourself what you're actually nervous about. Is it riding in traffic? Is it falling off? Is it not being fit enough? Or is it the fear of looking a bit of a numpty? It can be a million and one things, and the solution is actually fairly simple. I would suggest starting off by easing yourself into the fear gently. So if you are worried about riding in traffic, begin by riding on very quiet roads and then gradually building up to busier ones. Along the way, do anything you need to do to make it easier on yourself. So for example, riding with a chum or doing a recce of your planned route. Similarly, if you're having second thoughts about being able to ride the double hard saber tooth tiger route of the sportive you've just signed up for, go out and ride a distance that you can do and keep chipping away at it until you know without doubt that you can go the distance. At some point, we all have to take a leap of faith if we want to move on with things, but there's nowhere where it says that that leap has to be off a 100 meter high cliff. It's much easier and far more civilized to do it in stages. I see it as breaking a series of mental barriers. We might start off thinking that we can't do something, so for example ride 100 kilometers, but over time we can gradually do things that allow us to believe that we can. So maybe you'll go out and ride 50 kilometers, and even though you found it hard, you'll know without doubt that because you've actually done it, this is a distance that you can do. The next time you ride, the first 50 kilometers don't give you any cause for concern, and every kilometre you ride after that just demonstrates how much closer to the 100 kilometre target you can get. Before you know it, you're riding a distance that you once thought was beyond your capabilities. But then if you are one of these people that enjoys the challenge, there's also no reason why you shouldn't just jump in head first and figure it out as you go along. Admittedly, this sink or swim approach is not for everyone, but it can boost your confidence through the roof. Assuming you survive, of course. We're usually nervous of certain things and situation for good reason. Anyone who doesn't fear the unknown, even just a little bit, is either some kind of superhero or they're just putting a brave face on it. Our imaginations are very good at putting the frighteners on ourselves by presenting us with the worst case scenario. But more often than not, the reality is nowhere near as terrifying or as difficult or as embarrassing as we're first led to believe. Yes, getting on a bike for the first time is scary. Yes, riding your first sportif is intimidating. And yes, singing at the top of your voice in the frozen food aisle of your local supermarket is embarrassing. But do it often enough and it becomes second nature. 
I can remember when I first started riding with cleats and clipless pedals. I was terrified. What, be attached to the pedal? What if I fall off? I'm sure you get the idea. Turns out that yes, I did have a couple of minor tumbles at first, but 20 years on, and more importantly with literally thousands of successful clipped-in rides under my belt, I don't even think about it anymore. In fact, I can't imagine riding a bike without them now. So, if you found this film useful, please like and share. And if you'd like to get the most out of your cycling, please consider subscribing for my regular weekly uploads. Thanks for watching. Thank you.